In today's video, I am doing a purple Dutch pour. I'm working on a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. I tried doing one like this before. It was video number 363. And while the colors looked really good in the painting, it moved a lot and didn't end up drying really well. I want to do, I think, less paint for my base so that hopefully my other colors don't move too much. Each of my colors I have mixed with a little bit of Floetrol and water. I am not using any silicone. And I have had some people ask if I'm using Australian Floetrol or US Floetrol. And for all of my Dutch pours, I use the US Floetrol. The Australian Floetrol, I really like using for my blooms. It is expensive to get, so that is why I use it just for the blooms. I don't want to use up all of it for other techniques. I like keeping some negative space on the canvas, um, but I also like doing this split pattern of where I have my paint going in one direction and then I branch off going in the other direction. So I'm doing that today. Once I have my colors down, I'm putting a little bit of white down on um, both sides so that I can blow the white over the colors and then blow them all back out, hopefully creating some really nice cells. Once I was done using the hairdryer, I ended up gently blowing on a few areas to move some of that purple out. I didn't want to keep using the hairdryer. Um, sometimes blowing on it, you have a little bit more control over where your paint is going. So I didn't want to change it drastically, so just blowing on it gently in a few areas, I was able to just manipulate the paint to where I wanted it to flow. 